How to add transitions in Streamlabs in 2023. Adding transitions in Streamlabs is something that most streamers do to spice up their streams. So here, I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to open your Streamlabs. So I'm going to hit this one, edit scene transitions, and then I'm going to open it. And then I'm just going to hit add transition. And then new transition, I'm just going to say, for example, arrow up. So that's the name of my transition. And then I'm going to use Stinger. So Stinger is like one of the most widely available format that is used for this particular uh, setting. So once that's done, click Browse. So here I have already downloaded this earlier. Uh, these are my transition files. You can actually create your own or you can just download online. So in my case, I've downloaded this one online, but I suggest you guys to create and customize your own. That way you will have a transition that fits perfectly with your personality and your audience. So in my case, uh, here I have here the video files. Again, I'm going to click browse and then I'm going to click red. So these are the options. I'm going to click arrow wipe red. And then after that one, you can select here transition point type. So there are two here. We have time or we have frame. So in my case, I usually use frame. And then the frame here that I'm going to be using is 30. Um, but this is definitely going to change depending on the transitions that you have. So say, for example, uh, I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to choose this one and then click done. All right, so this time we're going to try to have an example. So this is what will happen if I'm going to change the scene. Okay, there. So you see there was an arrow going up. All right, something like that. Now I'll show you what will happen if you have not set the right frame or time. So say, for example, if I'm going to change this one to 10 or let's say five, for example, Okay, see there? So you were able to see this first before the actual transition happened. See? So that's why it's very important for you guys to actually set the right uh, transition point. So this is again 30 for me. I'm using frame here. And then after that one, I'm going to click done. Okay, let's try to do it one last time. So from the live scene. Okay. So yeah, that's basically it. That's how you're going to add transitions in Streamlabs in 2023. Furthermore, I strongly recommend upgrading to Streamlabs Ultra to enhance your streaming quality and overall experience. By clicking the link provided in the description and the comment section below, you can instantly save up to $10. If this content has been helpful to you, kindly consider subscribing to the channel and giving the video a thumbs up. Your support is greatly appreciated.